So um, we're going to head into Sikkima Jenkins next. And uh, it's uh, this is the show by Kara Walker that I was telling you about got, you know, previewed in the New York Times or as well as reviewed, actually. Um, and this is the title of the show. <laughs> so Kara Walker is known for her, um, you know, very long titles, uh, you know, where she kind of brings in a sense of humor, but also kind of pokes fun at some of the 19th century you know, Barker kind of idea of bringing the crowds in, talking up what's inside. So um, it's the most astounding and important painting show of the fall season. Like maybe it actually probably is. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, she IDs herself as a, a living African-American artist, the side of the Mississippi. Um, uh, modest collectors will find her prices reasonable. You know, who says this? It's a great title. Let's go ahead on in and we'll zero in on a couple of main pieces in the, in the main room and then maybe go into the back and talk about a story back there. There are a couple really major works in the show. There's a lot of work on paper, and she's um, made drawings and paintings and then affixed those to paper as well. So the Times Review mentioned that it looked almost like a studio visit. There's a lot of work in there. She, um, you know, she encountered, um, it was actually a letter writing campaign about the way she portrayed African American figures, you know. Um, you know, and so there was a lot of, um, a, a, you know, um, response to that and controversy. So this show is challenging also, uh, and it really directly, it seems to relate to the events of the summer, you know, kind of protests and counter protests in Charlottesville. So this um, piece right here, this is called the Pool Party uh, of Sardanopolis, and it refers back to a Delacroix painting from 1827 um, called The Death of Sardanopolis, who is a Syrian king who, um, you can see him kind of rec reclining up here um, as he witnesses the, um, you know, kind of murder and destruction of everything that he finds pleasure in and everyone. So. Um, uh, she's kind of taking the title of this and referring to it in this picture here where you have this a similar kind of, you know, clash and, and violence. But it's called the pool party and you see the girls and, you know, the women in bikinis and think of the teenager in McKinney, Texas, who um, was pretty violently, you know, treated by the police um, uh, when they responded to a call from a pool party. So. She's, uh, you know, looking back at art history here and then also looking at current events. But leaving everything open to interpretation, <laughs> you know. You know, I think I've tried to go to every uh, uh, show and uh, there was one there, she did something really different. I think after her 2007 Whitney retrospective, and I remember coming in here and she had put text um, relating again to current events on this wall, and that was very different, but she's kind of then come back to a figurative, um, mm -hmm. you know, practice. It was just, you know, Where's her, gratifying. <laughs> you, you talked about the rendition of Charlottesville. Is there any um, references so, or something here? Yeah, you know, if you, let's, let's walk over here. I know, right, so she was just making this artwork apparently. In fact, um, it was somebody, I think it was um, the New York Times preview said that um, she wasn't available to comment, like she wouldn't take the phone call um, because she was working so intensely on this body of work. So I, I, I think the paint's still fresh, <laughs> you know. Um, but uh, so she's, um, you know, bringing in elements that are suggestive. So you have um, this guy up here who has his moonshine and he's kind of um, not doing much, um, but he meets a, a, this evil rope salesman and ends up, you know, enacting this uh, crime. And, um, you know, and then he turns into a different person over on the other side. It's like he's kind of um, energized by his, um, you know, violence. Uh, but then also, um, so the, the Roberta Smith, I uh, suggested this might be Frederick Douglass down here, and then you have a very different kind of character um, next to him, um, then a Confederate, um, you know, uh, soldier. Um, so without referring to anything specific, you know, you see the Confederate soldier, you think of everything this summer, you know, exactly. so that you make your own connection. But also the Times pointed out this kind of, you know, double KKK hooded character is kind of opening his skirts to reveal 
you know, guess who? <laughs> um, yeah. But this piece is called um, Christ's Entry into Journalism. So you think of uh, entry into Jerusalem, and you know, she, again, she plays with your expectations. Uh, she really channels um, so much of the conversation and debate this, this summer and in our culture now. Yeah, it's like the most relevant show out there right now. Although our next show is actually very relevant too. And so she's an artist whose work is always, um, I think, I always think important but difficult. You know, it's not, um, you know, she deliberately eliminates color, for instance, you know, and, and she uh, has her viewers face things that we often don't want to uh, in U.S. history. This room is kind of anchored around the story of Grandison Harris, uh, who was a man who was enslaved uh, uh, in Georgia um, jointly by the staff of a medical college. And uh, he was made to um, supply bodies for their um, anatomy classes, for the anatomy students. So he um, uh, found uh, you know, many of the bodies in the African-American cemetery, you know, which you know, was not as, uh, you know, I guess, guarded and, and so forth. And um, anyway, um, after the Civil War, he, he left and uh, became a judge and, you know, established an entirely new role for himself. But um, uh, I think, you know, Jim Crow and the other constraints uh, on his life meant that he ended up having to come back or he was constrained and forced, well, you know, to come back and uh, uh, continue working at the college. So. Um, uh, you know, in his old capacity. Uh, and then he ended up eventually passing away and being buried in the cemetery, you know, where he had visited so many times. So, um, so that you see, you know, like this, uh, that, that makes sense with uh, some of the other pictures here. Um, so that's, you know, you kind of see him in this, you know, thoughtful pose, but then also this makes sense all of a sudden, these... Uh, uh, and then the um, the monument from the graveyard appears mm -hmm. in the main painting and this one here on paper. But you know, it's interesting, the press release for the show says she's tired of being a role model or a spokesperson, you know, so it's like, it's one of these situations where she's become so successful, she's, you know, um, mm -hmm. I put in an awkward situation, I think. I read that she was Beyonce's favorite artist not so long ago, and she was on the cover of New York Magazine. She's kind of a celebrity in a, in a sense, as much as a contemporary artist can be. Um, definitely always loved her work though.